What's up guys, it's back here, and welcome to another Slay the Spire. So, this is number eight, where you're going back in as the silent. So, let's see, what do we want to do here? I kind of like the silent starting weapon to draw uh, two extra cards at the start of combat. I'm thinking, let's do the remove two cards. It's going to hurt us in, like in the beginning. But this should make our deck a little bit more consistent right out of the gate. Okay. Um, early shop's not really going to help us. I really wanted some more question marks. We can go up the center path here. That gives us two opportunities for elite. One with a rest before it if we would like it. So that looks like the best option. Alright. Simple, simple. Let's... Use the survivor, drop the defend, and kill this. Oh, we didn't, couldn't kill that boy outright. My bad. It's fine, though. We can kill him now with a neutralize. Easy enough. So, speaking of sl Slay the Spire, I've been doing uh, some tests for our. for some modded Slay the Spire. I was looking at some characters. Uh, I don't think we have enough. 12, no we don't, so block. Um, looking at some of the modded characters and the different mods that go with them to change up the floors and I kinda, I got something put together. Um, it's not completely ready yet. I was trying one of the modded characters and it seems, it's a very interesting character but it's very complex and maybe too complex for kind of what we're wanting. So let's see. We're going to go with the dagger throw first. A little bit of draw. Yeah, we don't have a really build defined yet. So that'll give us at least some aggression right off the gate. Uh, we'll drop the defend. Uh, can we kill this one? Yes. Let's go out, outright kill it. But I would play. I think it's, it's like a magician type character based off a different game whose name I cannot remember. Probably should have hit him with the strike first. Would have made more sense. Because then we just have to penetrate the armor. But it's fine. But his his play style doesn't make as much sense to me. Because it's not as well defined as I would like it to be. Um. So here's kind of where we got to decide. Do we go for like a choke and shiv kind of build? Or do we want to go to discard? I think I'm going to take the choke. Just to have that damage uh, right off the bat. It's a pretty good two drop card. Um, we're going to lose the five max HP. I don't really want to get hit again, especially before this elite fight coming up. Oh, this should be a pretty good turn. Get that choke out there early. But yeah, it, it, the mods will series will be coming probably after this rotation. I will do probably the first one for it. Because we got the silent to go through and then the defect. And then we'll probably rotate through. So this is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 3 is 21. We just have lethal. Nice. Um, another dagger throw. Actually, glass knife. Pretty good. It's a lot of, like, upfront damage. Alright, if this one goes well, we'll probably go... We'll have to take a look at the path again. Um, this one here we'll drop. Actually, we'll drop the choke. Not intending to play it this time. Try to keep the damage kind of even between them. No reason to split them up since you get vulnerable after it. So that's 18 right there. That'll kill one of them. Let's go ahead right off the bat do that. And then might as well in turn. So if we can drop this one this turn, we should be in a great... Oh, yeah. Great place. Um, These are all defensive-based cards. I think we'll go with the Piercing Well. Should be fine. And what's the better path? Rest. This one has two question marks. Question mark, rest. Yeah, this seems like the better path, in my opinion. I like hitting more question marks uh, early for card removal. Seems to always be pretty good. Yeah, this is going to be a, a pretty good turn right here. Nice. We still have no shivs or nothing yet to really, really benefit from choke, but I think we're doing plenty of damage as it is. I know it. Oh, I did that way wrong, but I don't think we'll have to pay for it. Should have done it the other order, but ornamental fan. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. That kind of goes with the build we're trying to do right now. 
Um, doppelganger could be interesting. So early. Draw his cards and gain X energy. Next turn. Could be like a good setup for a pure, like for our choke. We'll try it. Uh, 75 gold. Lose 11. Kind of a little close, but if we go the way we're thinking, we will hit this rest. And then maybe we'll duck this elite to hit this shop early. Kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, actually, we could just heal. Or I'd rather remove, though. A little bit of removal is going to be a little bit better. Could have been the wrong move, but it's done. Fossilized Helix. The first time you would lose HP each combat, it's prevented. So pretty much it gives you uh, one buffer. That's what it's called. Oh, another one. Sundial. Every time you shuffle your draw pile, gain two energy. That'll be really good since we've been, uh, you know, ducking different, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We've been removing a lot of cards, not ducking anything. So the question is question marks or go here and upgrade a card. Ooh. This could be a hard fight. Why well, Ingram, though? I, I'd rather try it, take the risk. Okay, none of them are attacking. Honestly, we could doppelganger and hope for a really good next turn. I think I'm going to try it. Huh. So we should neutralize. I'd rather play the glass knife. And then we'll doppelganger. Could be the wrong move, but we got a little bit of buffer, so... Yeah, they're all attacking. That's what I was kind of afraid of, but... This is really good. Ah, oh, I should have played choke first. Crap. Choke. Okay, we got four. Block one, block buffer. Take no damage. Nice. That worked out fairly well. Alright, twelve... Okay, yeah, we can take this one out. Nice. This fight actually went over fairly well. All things considered. And dead. Awesome. So, for that, we get the Odd Mushroom. When vulnerable, take 25% more damage rather than 50. Pretty good. Um, I don't think any of those are kind of what we're going for. Another fight. Ooh, right out of the gate, they're swinging for the... Swinging hard. Okay, we have eight. Could play one more defend, or we could... I'd rather get some of the damage out there, I guess. It's a hard call. But we could block some with the buffer. No, I think we should start... Start hitting them. We only block one for the buffer, but... If we don't start really getting some damage out there, we're not gonna get through this fight. Uh... Try to get the neutralized? No. Not too bad. Three more, but yeah. Let's see. Neutralize. I'm trying to put this guy to the freaking ground. Ooh. Glass knife is right there. Oh, we can just kill him. Kill him out right with the glass knife. Awesome. And then 12 plus 6. 18. We cannot kill him with this. So we should survive her. And then we'll... Well, we should have done it the other way around, but... I don't think it'll... Like, negatively affect us too much. Uh, another dagger throw? Well, the draw is pretty good. Especially since we're using Doppelganger to uh, get all the extra energy. Take a little bit of draw. I'm not going to go into the Elite Fight. I'm going to duck it to go to the shop. with the, We have 300 gold. So it's a little, a little different play than probably what I should have done. Ooh. Bad turn. Bad, bad turn. Um. Okay. We, we'll, we can outright kill him. So, we should do that. Alright, and then we can just buffer for this. So I think I'm going to play the doppelganger. And try to have a really strong next turn. Okay, yeah. Drop the defend. Strike. And strike. And then, see, the problem with that is we didn't have, we had too many defends in the hand. We didn't draw into our aggression. 
Okay, can we kill him? Let's run the math. 15, 21, and he has 23. If we do, I think I'll use the flex potion and just try to knock it out. Actually, I don't think I needed to. We drew the neutralize, but should be fine. Still nothing here I really want. The weakness could be good. We'll take that. Another source of weakness in the deck. Okay. Let's, let's remove first. Remove another basic strike. Now, if we would have went discard, we would actually have a pretty good like set of stuff here. Reflex and sneaky strike. Uh, we've seen the tacticians. And we've seen a lot of you know discard cards, but too late now. I think... Bronski also going to be pretty good, especially since we're going against the Hexaghost. Uh, at the start of your turn, gain three thorns. So I'll take, I, think, I think we'll take that. And then, if we had more shivs, I'd be inclined to take accuracy. But I'll take the backflip, and I'll save the 99 gold. And then, even though we're only at 13, I'm not going to rest, since we are going against the Hexaghost. This one exhaust, but this makes it playable even if you have... Uh, no energy, so we'll go with this. Drawing it on turn one would be the best, and we didn't. So we really just want to lay the damage in here. My only regret is I might may have actually should have done neutralize to get that weakness, but we still got some right here. So six damage. I would like to block. All of it and save my buffer. And he takes a ton back just for uh, hitting us. Ooh, no defense. Oh, uh, we're not going to doppelganger yet. There's no reason to, really. Actually, we're going to throw away choke. I'm not going to be playing it. Still not much defense. Okay, there we go. I really don't want to lose the, the buffer. It makes no sense to lose it this early. Okay. Neutralize you. And this is just another bad hand. Okay. Let's see. Choke piercing well, I guess. Keep getting some of that energy in there. Yeah, I guess I mean keep getting some of the damage in there. Okay. We got to defend once so the burn doesn't hit us and knock out our buffer. Glass knife and strike. All right. Can we fully defend? Keep the weekend, so 10 damage. Not unless we acrobatics. No, I don't think we can at all. Because if we acrobatics, we play one. We have no zero, like, defends. So it'd make no sense to play it. I'm still gonna play it anyway. Yeah, we shouldn't have played uh, Sucker Punch Fight. We should have done our draw. Because then we would have got neutralized and could play Backflip Survivor. Oh well. Neutralize him again. And yeah, nothing up here can help that. Alright, so we're gonna take f five, I guess. Well, not five. We'll take. Nothing, technically. The buffer will block it. But we, we've lost that now. So you need to keep that in mind as we do stuff. Three more here. Okay, so this is his big turn. And we have nothing. We can block 10. And he's doing 18. So we'll be down to 2. And then I think the burn will kill us. Ew. Yeah, we can't kill him yet. All we can do is this. Like, I don't think nothing we could draw. Oh, we could drop the burn. And neutralize. Alright, we should be alive with 2 HP. <laughs> yep. So, any burn can kill us. Oh, burn pluses now. Even better. Okay, drop the burn plus. We're not getting almost any aggression. Which sucks. We made a, like, middle of the road road build okay how do I want to proceed is he still weak no he's not weak get that weakness need 10 so I don't think we'll play the glass knife we're just gonna do it this way oh <laughs> oh sundial okay 
block again, and then do the glass knife. I thought we killed ourselves drawn into that burn. Ooh! The bad one. Drop the burn. Neutralize. Dagger throw. Drop another burn. And five. So, nope. I think that's just enough to kill us. And he was so close to dead. Yep. Just enough. All right, we can do, we can do one more. Give it another try. Oh, all right. What do you got for me? Random colors and common card. That 250 gold could be good. Head to the shop like immediately. Yeah, let's try that. The shop right there too. We'll do this one. It looked like there was one more above it also. Which could uh, also help define the build. Now I think our problem on the last one is we removed so many of our uh, strikes that we just weren't drawing in any damage. Uh, should I defend? Probably. Save a little bit more. And we should have lethal. We do. Alright. We could do another choke build. I'm into it. I like choke a lot. Okay. Let's kill this one off first. And then choke. Hit ya. And hit ya. So next turn we should have lethal. And we do. Very barely, but we do. Ooh, riddle with holes. Oh, no terror. Get some of that vulnerability. All right, let's see. What do you got, shop? Accuracy? I want to take it just in hopes. Ooh, but discard with Tingsha? Mmm. I don't. And calculate a gamble? Can we take both of them? We can't. Oh, we're close, though. So close. Five more gold. That's all you needed. I think we'll take the Tingsha. In hopes of doing something, like, wacky with discard. Okay, we want to Survivor. Yeah, because this is going to... It'll get really, really wacky when you start getting calculated gamble and stuff. You can, like, discard your whole hand. So I guess Choke just becomes, like, a, a power card at this point to deal some extra damage. Ooh, Acrobatics. There we go. And then... I think we're gonna have to fight an elite, so how do I, I think we'll go to this one and hit him there. I think we'll be good. Ooh. A molten egg whenever you add an attack card to your deck that's upgraded. Took a little damage for it, but having that very early is pretty good. Okay, let's neutralize. Survivor, drop choke. Do this and do this. Take no damage currently. So these boys have two extra strength, which kind of, it's not really that fun, but I think we will terror one of them and defend, I guess. Oh, wait, they had the artifacting. Derp. Should have just double defended until I got a neutralize or something. I guess we can weaken them now. Oh, ouch. Day City. Then, yeah. So we've burned off all their artifacting, which is pretty good. We really need to get one of these these boys down. Survivor, drop this. Cause I want to keep hitting one of them, cause like 22 damage every turn really hurts a lot. Yeah, we're down to 14. And then when you start keep, oh man, we're not drawing any uh. And he defends either when they keep putting days in our deck. This might be it, because we can block for 15. And again, I think we die with exactly. Like, I can't kill one of them. I should have focused more on him, I guess. Like, I can full defend. That's all I could do. I should have also drank the strength potion. Dang. Every time I think we get something good. 
Once more. One more again. That was a bad one. We're not gonna get a bonus this time, so we'll just do. Anyways, the next three combats have one HP. Is there a way we can snuff out an elite? Uh, right here would be possible, so we'll try that. All right, peoples, get out of my way. Uh, dagger throw, dagger spray, not throw. Wrong dagger card. Upgrade two random cards. Nice. Strike and defend. Rather I hit something else, but it's fine. Ooh. Two more upgrades. Okay. Survivor and defend. So war paint is upon pickup. Upgrade two random skills. Boop and boop. Fire potion's good. Infinite blades. Is good? Yeah. We'll, we'll go for a shiv. A little bit of shivy do. Remove a card for seven. All right. Uh, basic strike, sure. Then we'll hit this elite, because he only has one HP. So we did get that free elite that we wanted. Mall bank. Whenever you climb a floor, gain twelve gold. It no longer works when you spend money at a shop. Ooh, okay. Going with the ship build. Get that blade dance in there. Uh, I think we'll go for the upgrade first, and get it on blade dance to get another ship. It's four, four more damage, I think, so should be pretty good. All right, you kind of suck. So we will get our infinite blades out so we can get more damage every, like, every turn. Because he's not really that fun. I really want all these shivs, though. It's not a bad amount of damage. Okay. I think we can get him next turn, so I am going to play the upgrade defend. Take just a little bit less. And bam. There we go. Dead Grimm and Mob. Uh, question card. Future card rewards have one additional card to choose from. And then, ooh, Thousand Cuts or Terror? I think the Thousand Cuts, mostly because it's also a rare card. So we're less likely to see it again. Tiny chest, upon pickup, gain 30 gold. You are 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. Pretty nice. Another shop. Oh, another blade dance. Ooh, no. Can I do both? I can't do both, but kunai. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dex. It's nice. Blade dance would have been lovely, but that's pretty much one dex every time we play our blade dance. Uh, I want to get this upgraded, so we start with it. Because that's another attack every turn. And more likelihood we'll get the kunai off. Just watch. Bam. One dex. Nice. Ooh, mm, this first. And another dex right there. Can I kill him before I start going at this? Six, nine, fifteen. Yeah. Make sure I didn't do something dumb and take more damage. Let's see. I don't think... Yeah, all these are for discard. I don't think that's what we're going for. What's next on our map? One more fight. And then... I think we'll rest now. And then we can uh, upgrade on the next one. All right, you are gonna hurt a lot. I don't think I'm gonna play Infinite Blades. Not yet, at least. I want him, I don't want him to take my money, so we want to do more damage, and he's gonna attack a lot. So, try to take the least amount of damage that I can. There we go. All our money back. Um. Yeah, I still don't think any of these are good. They're not what we want. And then Smith. Thousand Cuts just becomes twice as good. Two damage every time you play a card. I wish I could have got it out on the first turn. It's kind of what I was hoping for, just to do all of our setup. Okay, so 32 damage. We need to do 22. Huh. We definitely could do it with with the fire potion. I think I'd rather get the fire the thousand cuts 
And then... Oh, actually, we don't even need it. But we had the fire potion just in case. Now, one thing that's going to suck is this dude will uh, try to hit us every time we play a card. So, can I take three more? Yeah. And then we got another point of dex. Which is kind of one of the things we're really wanting here. All right, 13. Do that. And the upgraded one. Yeah, we can do that. One thing that sucks is we're putting shivs back into our deck. That means we're going to draw shivs. Which is kind of not what we want. Can I drop him again? 6, 12. We'll put him down to... Yeah. Let's go ahead and put him back on the ground. I really don't want to take the 20. We could have just defended, but I'd rather get some of that damage out there. Uh, drop the strike. I'm going to play the shivs out, honestly. And I'll take one. Let's do the neutralize. Take none. Actually, I'd rather still take take less damage, but get more out there. Dang, every time our blade dance comes up, it's at the, kind of the wrong time. Okay, how much damage can we do to you, bro? I don't think we can put him back down, unfortunately. So if we're going to drop one of these strikes... Defend. Strike. We're not maximizing our decks as much as I would like us to. However, I think it's still fine. Alright. 45 left on him. I think I will go ahead and just do this. Yeah. Maximize all everything we did there. He's got 20 left. Could I? Well, I'd just take a ton of damage if I do it, though. But I can't defend for any more, so we'll just... I don't want to, you know, mess this up somehow. And we'll just kill him right here. Nice. Kind of just what we wanted. And for cards. Burst. Burst actually would be pretty good for the... Uh, is it the... Whatchamacallit? Blade Dance. Because we could get two decks, pretty much. Out of one card. Out of, well, two energy, I guess. Uh, can't take Velvet Choker. Black Star, we could. Move two cards from deck. Uh, I think we'll do this just to make our deck more consistent. And we have no extra defend yet. We only have extra attacks. So we'll remove the two strikes. Because the goal would be to get more shivs in the deck. That we can play out at one time. I think I'm going to go up this path. Hello, friend. All right. We just got a whale on this guy, pretty much. It kind of stinks that we didn't get the extra energy. A thousand cuts is kind of cumbersome. If I'm being real honest, because it's a two, like two energy card. But I think we'll be just fine. Ooh. We can burst, defend, though. Get the good defend out. Because we are frail. So we will take four damage here. Okay. Eating through him. He's got nothing to, like, nothing on us. He is still really trying to survive putting up that defense. Okay. Caltrops. Eh, not really. Will a plans could be good. We could hold stuff in our hand a little longer. To maximize our turns. We also hold 1,000 cuts. If we can't play it one turn. It's pretty nice. I hate I hate that. Because I really just want to play this. Uh, but I really don't want to take 10 damage. I don't think I will. There's kind of no reason to. We'll play this for the next time. And... I don't think I want to play it. I think I'll keep the survivor. Because I think he wants to... We'll do a big attack at some point. Now, this is kind of one of the things we wanted to do. Yeah, look at that. We are kind of dazing ourselves, but... I think it's kind of worth it for... Just the raw damage they're doing. Oh, crap. I didn't... I didn't play the shiv out. 
from Infinite Blades. Okay. It's another one of those moments where I don't think I really want to play the uh, Thousand Cuts. But now we can hold it. Until he's not attacking. Which may, maybe never, but... I don't think I'll play the strike. I think I'll get the cutout. So this will hurt a little bit, but I think we are now going to be on the upswing of this fight. Still going to take another 11. I think, right? It's 24. Maybe 13. I didn't see the math. Keep the survivor for when he doesn't attack this time, but I think... We will fill up our hand plenty. I don't think we even need to do that. Oh, another upgraded blade dance or choke. I think the blade dance is going to matter more. I think we just want to play a lot of cards out. So I don't think how we do it. Duplicate a card in your deck. Ooh. I think just another blade dance. It's either blade dance or another thousand cuts. I think we'll just go with blade dance. I think it's going to be like our damage engine. So, Especially with the burst. If we could upgrade it, it would be very, very, very good. Um, I think I'll just, just defend. Like I could burst defend, but burst needs to be upgraded before it's going to be really good. So, ooh, well laid plans. Get this. They're both attacking, and I really don't have a lot of defense. Let's go ahead and draw. Well, survivor's good. I just don't know what to drop. Our hand's kind of cluttered. Okay. Should have done that just a hair differently. Because we were about to take a pretty good bit. Another thing that would do us good is a... Uh, is an after image. Gives us one per card we play. Guys, you need to stop attacking every turn. It's kind of... Kind of making me sad. I think I'll hit the fungi beast. Cause even though the shell parasite... Is doing more damage though. Could I kill him is my question. 9, 6, 15. I don't, not without the thousand cuts out. So we'll do this. And I just want some damage off the field. Keep holding the thousand cuts so we can play it. I don't know if he ever stops attacking. Because I feel like he's just going, going a little crazy with it. Alright, let's really finish off some of these guys. Um, 13, I really want to... Hit you with something else first. Actually, I want to defend first. But I think I'll take the 18, I guess. And just really try to maximize my decks and just get his plated armor down. Because we're up to five decks. But next turn could be bad if we can't defend against him. He's only doing 15, so we should, yeah, we can easily defend. Okay. I don't... I think a thousand cuts is going to be played here. And I think we'll hold Blade Dance for next turn. Alright, he's doing 12. Can we kill him? No, but we can... I don't think we can kill him, but we can defend. And get tons more decks. Actually, we might be able to kill him. Close. Very close. Uh, I don't think I want to hold either one of those. They're not kind of the linchpins of what we're doing. Blade dance. Yeah. We were getting them. It just took a little longer than I was expecting. Uh, none of these. Now, I, if this is not a combat, we'll be great. Because we can rest right there. It's not. Upgrade a card. Definitely the burst. Being able to get more shivs in hand will be great. Uh, no, I want to rest. 29 is not that great, especially since this is like a super elite, but it is the path we took. And these are also the the ones we would not want to fight. Ouch. Okay, how do we want to do this? How much are they doing? 12, 19, 29, 32. So we definitely have to defend. But I really want to get a thousand cuts out. Because that's going to be our AOE over time. I'm going to go with a risky move here. 
and drop. Yeah, drop that. Because I think without a thousand cuts, we're not going to get through this fight. We are down. Oh, they got regen. Nice. Nice, nice stuff. Okay, the way we're going to do this, we are going to neutralize him, burst, the defend, and the blade dance. And then I think we'll hit the one doing the most damage. Try to kill him out. And we do so. Awesome. Now we have the fire potion to kill one of them if we really need to. Well, they planned. How much damage can we actually do? I think we will defend once. Blade dance. Oh, we can't play any. Attacks this turn. Nice to know. Bye bye, fire potion. <laughs> I forgot that uh, he netted us. Which is fine. It worked out in the end. It's not the best way to go about it, but it was definitely a way. And I think he is done, though. Nice. I was really concerned about that one. So, Tori, whenever you receive five or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to one. Really good for defensive. Emerald Key, which we're not going to be doing. And another Blade Dance. Oh! I mean, might as well take it. Uh, I'm going to rest again. I think we really need to. As much as I'd rather, you know, keep pushing through, I think it's necessary. Oh, Happy Flower. Every three turns, gain one energy. Nice. It's going to be really good for uh, what we're doing. Okay, dude. I really don't want to deal with either one of you. Thousand Cut. Survivor. We're going to survive our way to the dagger spray. Yeah, this should be this is going to be a hard one. But we got pretty good. Oh, I had more. I had more damage. I should have done it. Messed it up right there. All right, 19 between. Oh, you guys are about to get hurt. And we have the extra energy. I'm just going to kill like, lay waste to this dude here. See, this is what we wanted. This was the idea behind this deck. And with if we had after image, we would be freaking golden. Yeah, and then we're still fully defended. It just took some doing. Oh, I didn't even realize we'd kill him. Gambler's Brew, pretty good. Discard any number of cards and draw that many. I think I'll take choke now. <laughs> I don't think another after mean another uh, blade dance is necessary. As fun as it is, not necessary. Um, he's doing twelve. We'll survive our way to defend, and then I'd like to get some damage in here because this guy will scale pretty quickly, and then we'll hold this blade dance, which does need to be upgraded. He will start putting wounds. How much damage can we really do here? 12. Well, that's two. And we could play two of these. I might take the 18. Because I think we might. I'm just going to try to kill him. Like, outright. Because I think we can come real close to it. And I could try to Gambler's Brew these away. Well, he's weakened now, so we're only taking 12. I think that was the white right way to do that. Kind of sucks to lose our, our potions, but we actually didn't take much because of uh, uh, Tori. I think we will... I'd still love to go to the, for the kill. So these do 8 apiece. That'd be 16 right there. If we burst them, it's 32 plus strike. I think we can do it. And then we have an extra ship. Yeah, we, we definitely can do it. Nice. Sneko Skull, whenever you apply poison, apply an additional one. Not good for us. Regen, really good for us. Um, escape plan could be all right. It's just like a free draw card. We'll take it. A little extra draw will never hurt no one. I don't think I want to find another elite. I think I'd really go to the shop. Ooh, accuracy. Um, 
I'm trying to look. Card removal could also be good. Maybe card removal, accuracy, backflip. Sounds pretty nifty. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And we'll save the rest. Oh, I can't go back. I was going to look at the potions. I forgot to do that. All right, Snack would not be good. Snack's a bad person. And then... He's going to make our... Well, actually, we don't draw the shivs. So he might not be too bad. He's not going to be fun, though. I can already tell you. Okay, he might be fine. Zero defend, and this one. Taking 15. Ugh. I couldn't... No, I think I'll use the regen when we come into an actual... Like, into the boss fight. That way we can get the most out of it. Burst for two and blade dance for three. <laughs> um, excuse me? I think I will gamblers, bro. Like, those are like the worst, like some of the worst pulls you can get. This one's not much better, but at least we can do something. I mean, we're taking them down quick, but I still don't want to take a ton of damage in the fight. We took a little more than I already wanted, so. Alright, cool. Um, Another escape plan? It's really not going to, like, be a problem if we take it. The draw could be a lot really good, too, though. Well, we don't have enough energy. I'll take the escape plan. Okay. You guys are really going heavy this early on attacks. Which I'm not really a fan of. Drop the normal defend. I think, yeah, this, this, and this. That's how we go about it. Bronze scales have been good there, but it's fine. Escape plan. Ooh, okay. Blade dance, blade dance. We can knock him out of the sky, so I'm not really worried about that. One, two, three... Then when he's not flying, you can really do the damage to him. He's out. Now you can just focus on this guy. But we're already three decks up, so I think we'll be okay. Okay. How do we want to go about this? Choke. I think choke blade dance. Just really get the damage in on him. Nice. Hold the thousand cuts. Like the plan should be. I think we'll go for the kill here. Ooh, oh, nope. We're good. I was about to say, we're so close. All right. Uh, nothing good here. I, I thought about the deflect, but I don't think it's very necessary. I think we will also rest again. As much as I'd like to upgrade our other blade dance, he hits pretty hard. Yeah, like right out the gate. Now let's backflip. Ah, that's kind of what I wanted. See, nope. Ooh. Well, we got welly plant. Let's drop the choke since we can't play it. I think I'll go ahead and start hitting him. Also, that gives us our decks up that we want. And I think Thousand Cuts is going to matter more than Infinite Blades. Okay. For, let's go ahead and drink this. Start getting the use out of it. I think we will need it. Hmm. Do I go damage and take the take eight? I think we will. Cause we kind of full blocked anyway. Hold. We'll hold accuracy. Keep getting our setup going. Okay. I don't want to take twenty four. Mm-hmm. So we'd burst, blade dance, defend, neutralize. I think that's how we'll go about it. And weekend, so we will still take we could take none. Or we could play the accuracy and get three more damage per shift. We'll do that. And then we'll hold the defend. 
Okay. First, play that. We get all of our defense this turn, which kind of sucks. What is this on us? I don't even know what that is. Oh, uh, no, it's not the region. We'll hold the upgrade defend. Went away, whatever it was. Oh, it might have been the symbol for burst. The little green fleck. Okay. Well, we'll escape plan to be anything good. Okay. Just get all of the uh, decks up. Oh, we're one short to get another one. Uh, keep the upgrade defend. 27. Ugh. Oh, neutralize though. I don't think we're going to choke. I think we're just going to infinite blades, escape plan, survivor, the choke away, and defend. Really don't want to take any of that. Okay, what's the plan now? Blade dance, escape plan, and he's not attacking, so I don't really need to defend. So let's escape plan first. Ooh, choke. There we go. Kind of the thing we wanted. Choke is kind of our biggest damage engine, so it's kind of nice to have it. We'll keep the backflip for the draw. Okay. Could I kill him if I went real ham on it? It would be burst, blade dance. I don't think I could. So what we're going to do is we're going to burst, blade dance, then burst the survivor and get, yeah, 40, which is more than what we need. Actually, be a little bit more now. Drop escape plan. Oh, no, drop backflip. And then drop normal defend. Because we will escape plan and play out. Cool. Dagger Spray doesn't make sense in this deck anymore. Because most of our uh, defense, I mean our offense, comes from... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, la, 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 a thousand cuts. Our... Uh, what I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? Can I kill him? Just in case. I can't think of a specific word. Our AoE offense comes from a thousand cuts. And that's kind of was one of the reasons we took the uh, dagger spray originally. Well, we didn't get what we'd want. None of these fit. Phantasmal Killer is the only one that kind of fits, but I don't really need it to weigh down my deck. It's a two drop. Uh, I can't do Runic Dome. Uh, I'll take Coffee Dripper. I don't I haven't played the game enough to understand the different enemies' intent. And we need the extra energy, so we will have to make do with not resting, which means we'll be upgrading at rest sites. But I think our build's strong enough that we should be we should be fine. Okay, ten damage out of the gate. We're going to get. I think we're just going to get set up this turn. I also forgot we had so much ex, the extra energy already. It's a good setup turn right there, though. Okay. Survivor, the burn. Get that out of here. And I don't really want to take the one damage at all. So. The less damage we take early, the better off we're going to be towards the end. And the question is... How much damage do I need to do to kill him? I don't think we have enough. We had enough. Awesome. I thought we were going to take some damage right there. Another infinite blades could be good, or footwork could be good also. Huh. I think we get plenty of decks just by playing more shivs. I think we'll go with that. Ollie Smooth Zone. There's another dex right there. Sorry, it was at, at the start of combat, gain one dex. Okay. You guys could be really annoying. So, the way we're going to do this, infinite blades, infinite blades... Uh, let's get our draw. Well, hmm. Yeah, we need the draw. And then Blade Dance. And we will try to distribute this, even though it's not going to really matter in the end, because Thousand Cuts is what's going to do the damage for these guys. There it is. Ooh. You guys are 
coming out of the gate really strong. 17 plus 16. Ugh. I don't think I could kill one of you even if I tried. Yeah. We're going to take some damage here. Which kind of sucks because the goal was to not take a bunch. Alright. But we should be fine now. Oh. Let's do accuracy. Try to get some of these guys down now. Seven, damn it. Okay, we're gonna play plenty of cards anyway, so. It's not gonna matter, he's gonna die. Just by the fact of us playing cards. Okay, yeah, here we go. You're all dead. Thank you. Dex potion. As good as accuracy would be, I think I'd rather have the cloak and dagger. Ooh, a shop. <sighs> Too bad it's not a good shop. Like, terror could be good. But I think dagger spray out of the deck. And save the gold. Because what we really want is an after image. And I'm not seeing it. So I'm not going to worry about it. We are going for one more leap, which is kind of scurry. This does five damage per choke, which could be like a good, uh, like offensive attack to finish off like, you know, strong people like him. Which stinks, is he's going to do a number on us out of the gate, doing 18 damage. I guess I could block both of it, and I probably should. And then just set up, pretty much set up our turns. I really don't want, yeah, because he's going to defend this turn, so we should hit him as hard as we possibly can. And get as much dex as we can. Oh, he's already intangible. I didn't realize that. Interesting. That's burnt. 45 damage. Dude. Is that really necessary? I can't... Like, what, how am I supposed to block that? Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to play this blade dance. Um, do I want the thousand cuts or do I want the decks? I want the decks. Ow. Really not what I wanted there. Is he intangible still? He is still intangible, which kind of sucks. Because I can't really... Like, I can hit him, but not to the degree I would like to hit him. Just choke? It's too late now. I'll hold choke for next turn. Yeah. Because I wonder if the choke goes through his intangibility. I'm not really sure about. Oh yeah, he's not intangible anymore, but he's still dealing 45 freaking damage. And I don't think I could kill him this turn. We're gonna go for it. Because I don't really have any other options anyway. We're gonna play out our whole hand. Dang. Another 23 right there. And now he's intangible again. Intelligibility is going to be the death of us. Because eventually we'll be over top of him on damage. Or defense is what I'm... Per se. But we've already taken so much that these later fights on this floor are going to suck. Like, yeah, I'm going to down to 23 Bottle Flame. Put an attack in my opening hand. I think it's going to be neutralized. Power Potion's really good. And none of the... Ooh, Finisher. Finisher makes sense in the deck. Ooh, I don't think I'll like you either. These freaking, like, enemies that come right out of the gate dealing so much damage. It's kind of why I thought Neutralize would be great. How much can we do? We can't do a lot. Will we play Choke? Yes. Should have waited on the Neutralize then, but it's fine. Trying to see what's going to make the most sense. 
and get us the most cards played. I forgot this one, like, rotates through intense. I think he's going to put a Parasite in our deck. No, that wasn't that one. He made us vulnerable and uh, weakened. I'll need to keep that in mind when I go through this. Okay, we're definitely playing this this turn, so. Okay. Ooh, no. I don't want that 30. Stop that. 22. Still don't want that one either. 30 again. And yeah, there's nothing I can... That really sucks. His intense switch back and forth like that. Oh, well, guys. That's going to do it. Oh, new unlocks. We got what, Art of War, The Courier, and Pentor's Box. Pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button. Uh... Ripping the chat for uh, the failed attempts. We were so close to it, and that deck was so much fun. I love Shiv decks, but hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.